a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here with another box break. This time it's a Mystery Booster box, completely sponsored by MB30. He strikes back. All right, let's see how we do. We're on that hunt, you know, for the crypt. Obviously, there's a lot of other spicy cards in here, but uh, above and beyond, it's that crypto. So let's see if we can get one. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. In fact, I haven't even opened one ever on chat. I mean, uh, video. So uh, it would be a momentous day if we could. So let's get to work. 24 packs. And whatever. We'll just do it in order. The whole box is going to you. All right. All right. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Uh, all right. If you haven't ever seen one of these, uh, well, hopefully you have. <laughs> I've done a couple already. Uh, but the first 10 cards are always two white, two blue, two black, two red, and two green. And the only real card of value that we're, we're really looking for is uh, Demonic Tutor. Preordained is like a buck. So that is that. Then there's always a multicolored card, a colorless card, an old card, and a new card. And the new card is usually a rare. So. Mizzix Mastery is actually somewhat of a hit, so not, not bad at all, not bad at all, and a Funeral Charm. Last card's always foil in these um, collector packs, so let's put this in the pile as well. Uh, so yeah, good to hit uh, some of the foils, but since there's only 121 possibilities, most of their prices have gone uh, very low, very, very low. So, join the last troll. That is definitely a hit, that is definitely a hit. And we have a gin of wishes here. So, all right, all right. Not the best start, not the best start. Uh, but, uh, you know, a couple of these cards are worth a couple bucks. So, at least we're getting some value, you know? All right, here we go. Ah, that charging monster drawer. Monstrous sore. Somebody had probably taken that pack. Or maybe this precursor goal. Also very solid, also very solid. All right, let's uh, do that. And the uh, Eidolon of the Rhetoric is our foil. All right, what's next? What's next? Preemptively start moving things to the side here. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, Cold Steel Heart, Belby's Portal, a Taurine Mauler, and a Mage Rite Stone. Okay, all right, four packs in. Haven't seen anything too spicy. A couple cards worth like 20 bucks. Teferi's Protection, of course. Expropriate, Propaganda's actually, I think three or four. Maybe five. Ooh. All right, Krufix, a God of Horizons. It's definitely worth a few bucks. Basilisk, Basilisk Collar, same deal. And a Foil Aurelia's Fury. Yeah, that Foil spot used to be, I mean, these cards before the retail boxes were printed, the Foil spot was uh, was real good money. Like some of these were worth tons of money. But, you know, that was the original print of those. Since then, most of them have obviously crashed a ton, but... Uh, Not uh, not that much actually, because some some people still prefer the OG, um, the OG feel of those cards. Deep glow skate, and of course the OG art, and the fact that you know the OG ones are truly worth a lot more because they're just more rare, more and more rare. All right. So far, no crypt, no demonic tutor, but oh, Strix is worth a few bucks. Uh, Mask of Memory, I don't think it's worth that much. Sandstalker, also kind of a miss in the old spot. Grasp of Fate, all right, that's a few bucks. And Echoing Decay, all right, all right, all right. Okay. We are coming on to pack eight. Oh, Aura of Silence, I think that's a buck or two. All right, all right. Karn Wander, it's our old card. And a Marin of Clan Nail Toth. Also a few bucks for sure. 
and a game trail changeling. All right. All right. Okay. A third of the way through the box. How are we looking? I don't know. I'll have the editor add some pricing, but for now, we're still kind of just, you know, we're, we're like at the eye of the storm. We're, we're just waiting. Metamorphose, definitely a few bucks. All right. Not a bad hit. All is dust. Okay. All right. Not the best rare. And okay. All right. Send triplets. One of the more expensive ones. I mean, this thing was running over a hundred bucks. Um, the OG foil. Uh, but yeah, not, not anymore. Not anymore. Now, now it's like, I don't know. I haven't checked the price on this one because we haven't opened it for a while, but, uh, send triplets. Probably a 20 is my guess. 19, 18, 17. Other well, runes. All right. That's a few bucks. I'm sure. And, uh, Maniac, I think that might be. Mm, nah, we'll just keep it out. Might be like a buck. All right, Dark Seal Garrison, not a winner. Angel of the Dire Hour, also not a winner. All right, and a pull from Eternity. Kind of a troll card, actually. Okay, all right. So, how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs we've gone through. We'll just kind of make these into piles. And go through the next 14. All right, here we go. Wall of Omens, I think that's like a buck. Uh, I'll just put it here for now. All right, all right. Poor chant. Excellent card in limited. Not very valuable at all. Memory erosion. All right, all right. And a fate spinner. Okay. Card is also valuable before this, but here we are. All right, now let's pack one. Now we're going to be just halfway through the box. All right. All right. All right. Spawning grounds. Okay. All right. That's something. It's definitely something. <laughs> By something, I mean it's absolutely nothing. Fiery Gambit. Uh, all right. We're halfway through. We're halfway through, guys. Will I ever see Crypt? Are they just that shy? They just like don't show up on the YouTubes. Like, I have this like sinking feeling that the moment I decide to just YOLO crack like one of these up, oh, Temporal Mastery, not a bad one. Definitely one of the more valuable ones. And an Undead War Chief. You know, the moment I have that feeling to just YOLO crack one of these, not on camera, obviously it'll be like, you know, a double crit or something. And then you guys will have to take my word for it. I'll be like, oh my God, I opened two crypts. And uh, I, I didn't record because I, I felt like, you know, it was being shy. And then, and then I opened it and now, now it's awkward because uh, I didn't, didn't record it. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Teferi's Temporal Archmage um, and the Ancient Ziggurat were both hits. Change of Hero is definitely not a hit. I mean, it's like, why did they put this in the, in the, in the set? Like, <laughs> I guess it's for like limited purposes because there is a slight... There are some cards that do care about um, creature types, but I don't know. I wish they just put, I wish they put like only cards that we cared about in certain formats, like all EDH cards or something like that, because they could have made it anything. They literally, like they had actual no excuse. They could have put it, made anything. This, is, this set was literally proving that they could just reprint whatever they want. You know, assuming they're not held back by well, legal ramifications, i.e. the reserve list. All right, here's our first rare. Rage Reflection, okay. Mimic Vat, all right. Very, very solid card. Obviously, very, very good in limited. And it's obviously played in another format, Commander Cube. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, Blood Artist. A couple bucks. Oh, Maelstrom Archangel. Ah, love it. L love this art. I love this mana cost as well. That's what I want. All my things to cost. <laughs> All right. And a Sewer Nemesis. Not as good. Not as good for sure. And a Witch Bane Orb. Also very bad and limited. It's like, I don't even know if there is a curse in, uh, in these mystery boosters. I think there might be one in the, the convention edition. Ah. Two of my favorite cards, Archaeomancer, Gravedigger, oh, value, but not very value here. Not 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 in these packos. All right, Angelic Destiny, all right, not a bad hit. Pile Driver, bing, bing, bing. Nice to have some, you know, three or four dollar hits. Kind of help us along our quest. 
All right, all right, here we go. We're, we're, we're deep into this box. You know, there, there could be a certain thing to be said that they just stopped putting... Oh, hey, Bloom Tender. That's a sweet one. Definitely a sweet one. Oh, wow, what a pack. What a pack. Look at that. Bloom Tender into Expropriate, into Conspiracy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, really good, really good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, next. Um, yeah, so, like, do they just stop putting crypts? Are, are these, like, second run? Like, I, until I open one, I, I'm just starting to feel, I feel weird, you know? Martyr's Cause. Okay. Nice, nice. And a Deadly Tempest. Okay. One of the few Wrath effects um, in the WPN edition, so it's usually good to play around that if you're playing limited in this format. Um, yeah, just keep that in mind. It's uh, just, just in case you missed it. Deadly Tempest costs six mana. Destroy all creatures. Each player loses life equal to the number of creatures he or she controlled that were destroyed this way. Um, yeah, if you if you do play limited, it, you know three packs of this stuff. Just keep that in mind. Oh, oops, just whack the mic. Hopefully that doesn't lead to a lot of feedback. All right, all right, all right. I think Zenikar's Royal is like a buck. Thieving Magpie, the original. Uh, that's a good one. That is definitely a good one. Let's put that to the side. And the next card is, ah, it was an artifact, but not the artifact we're looking for. And a Yortiller Nephilim. Look at that. Look at that. Four mana for a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> not a great rate, but obviously it can reanimate things. So if you're able to just connect with it once, reanimate some, some big fatty. Yeah, not bad. But otherwise, almost unplayable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, ding, 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 Demonic Tutor. Look at that. We got one. Beautiful. And, all right, recoup. That's probably not, not to anything. A Nightmare Howler, probably also not anything. And a Gate Crasher, Ogre Gate, Gate Crasher. Four mana, four, three, three. That can potentially kill one of your opponent's defenders. Destroy, I mean. It's okay. Playable, for sure. But, uh, you know, no one's excited to play that card. A Rage Pits. All right, this might be a buck. Hunter of Eye Blights. All right. Mirror Crusader. Not bad. And Lich's Mirror. What a unique effect. Five mana, artifact. If you would lose the game, instead shuffle your hand, your graveyard, and all permanents you own into your library, then draw seven cards, and your life total becomes... 20. So you basically restart if you think about it. You shuffle your hand, your graveyard, and all permanents you own into your library. Then you draw seven cards. So while, well, you know, it is nice to not die, not lose the game, you might uh, still lose because your opponent didn't have to do all that. They still get all their permanents and whatever. And you have to start from nothing. All right, you untap, you go, you draw a card for your turn, and you have nothing in play. And um, yeah, you got to start all over and hope that they don't kill you again. So not the best card. Not the best card for sure. Goblin Burrows. Centaur Glade. Mind Shatter. Uh, and a Drog Skull Captain. All right. That one's not too bad. Okay. Last pack. Can we? Can we please? Is it? Is it this last pack crypt? Can we please open a crypt? All right. Defense of the Heart. All right, that's something. Grave Titan. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Sponsored by MB30. I apologize. I am now over 3 on Crips. We know that they're in there. We know that they exist. I'm starting to doubt myself. Maybe I'll just have to open one of them, reassure myself. But yeah, let's get that value of the box here. And um, stay tuned for the next one. Oh wow, what a pack! What a pack! Look at that!